Mexico, in Europe. So dietary, citric fruits. Surprisingly, orange is the highest. They evaluated all the citric fruits, and orange was the highest for increasing the pH, was more alkalizing. It reduced ammonia secretions, um, increased urinary oxalates, so it reduces the likelihood for kidney develop or kidney stone development. But it does have a lot of sugar. Apple cider vinegar, very, very beneficial. It helps with the urea, um, excreting as much of that along with the creatine. And then parsley seeds. When I was in university, they said parsley tea is a just nice support for ET, um, tea for the gut or for the kidneys. And as you can see here, a wide range of nutrients. Kombucha, very, very beneficial. Boosts glutathione, reduces inflammation, reduces urea by 48%. Um, so that gives that um, our urine that yellow color, um, as well as a lot of good acids to find toxins and eliminate them. We're all familiar with cranberry for antiseptic for UTIs. Um, celery, very beneficial, helps increase, uh, eliminate any excess calcium, reduces our risk for kidney stones. And then a big one is sugar balance and heart supporting herbs, cinnamon, fenugreek, citric fruits, blueberries, all help with the cardiovascular and helping with blood sugar levels. Vitamin D is a big one. People with chronic kidney disease had 80% deficiency of vitamin D when they supplemented. This was a huge study, as you can see, 194,000 adults. When they supplemented, there was a reduced risk for all cause of metab or mortality by 27% and a reduced risk by 33% after five years. B complex along with vitamin C is another um, support supportive nutrients. And the melatonin, if you don't get more than five hours of sleep, it has a huge effect on our kidneys. Um, interestingly enough, um, kidneys also are connected with fear. Some people which support their kidney, they go through um, some emotions as well. So uh, there is a connection with that, as well as if you're craving sour fruits, um, there is a connection there between Chinese uh, medicine for you know, um, sour taste and the kidneys. Uh, lastly, uh, botanicals. Um, very valuable, um, as you can see by dropping a lot of um, raw markers. Uh, big one right there, angiographies. So this one dropped urea by 202%. That's huge. Um, again, so when you have your kidneys not functioning well, your urea goes up creatine levels go up. So again, this is fantastic to help you people um, which are struggling. And then dandelion, the yep. most basic, you know, consider it a weed, but it's, you know, it's a super, super food. Yep. The, the head of the dandelion, full of nutrients, um, the leaves, diuretic, and they have potassium. So when we eat diuretics, we use up potassium, but they have potassium in them, so it's a fly. Root, fantastic, prebiotic for the gut, good for the gut bacteria, um, fantastic for helping with liver detoxification and creating more bile. And then I use a lot of these botanicals in my, um, you know, as a herbal tea. Um, a big one right there is if, um, antilipic, third one from the bottom, uh, chancopedra, incredible, um, for helping with kidney stones, reduces the pain, helps increase more. Um, urinary output, so it helps you want to pee more, um, as well as it helps break down the stone. Very, very valuable. And lastly, medicinal mushrooms. Uh, I remember Matthew Wood, he's a renowned herbalist um, in South America. Cordyceps, um, so in China, when someone's got renal failure, they're on dialysis, they will give them cordyceps militaris, and this stabilizes and keeps their rib, um, kidney function um, stable. And as you can see here, it reduces inflammation, helps increase um, the excretion of creatine and urea. So when anyone's sort of cleansing these organs, um, it's always cautious of 